Hey guys, Michael from Cock Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over a shortcut for acid base titration calculation. So, the shortcut is here this is the equation that you would use this is the coefficient of the base times the molarity of acid times the volume of the acid equals the coefficient of the acid times the molarity of base and the volume of the base. Looks like a lot, but it'll make a lot more sense when we take a look at some examples. So, let's, let's start with the first one. Titration reveals that 11.6 milliliters of 3.0 molar sulfuric acid are required to neutralize the sodium hydroxide in 25 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution. What is the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution? So let's break it down. We have sulfuric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide. So the very first step is we should just write the reaction out. So it'll be sulfuric acid H2SO4 plus sodium hydroxide and AOH and then it's going to produce water because then the H and OH is going to come together. And then the second product is going to be Na2SO4 because the Na is positive one charge and SO4 is negative two charge. I'm going a little quickly here, but if you're having trouble pre predicting the products of acid base reaction, definitely check out my video that goes over that in detail. Then we just balance this with the reaction. So we have two Na's over here, we put a two over here, and then we also put a two over here to balance the, um, the H's because we have a total of two plus two, four H's, and when we have two H here, so that's why we have to put a two here. So then once we have the reaction, we can just put the numbers underneath. So we have 11.6 milliliters of the acid, 3.0 molar of the acid, and in terms of the base, we have 25 milliliters of the base, and we're trying to figure out the molarity of the base. So then we'll say this is the acid, we'll call that A, and then this is the base, so that's B. So then we can use the equation. But so you see, we can we have to cross the coefficients. The we essentially cross the coefficients. So we have two M A V A equals M B V B. So the the coefficient of the base goes to the acid side, and then the coefficient of acid goes to the base side. So now now that we have the equation, we can just plug in the the numbers. So that'll be two times. The molarity of the acid is 3.0 molar. The volume of the acid is 11.6 milliliters. The molarity of the base is what we're trying to solve for, so MB. And then the volume of the base is 25 milliliters. Then we just plug this into the calculator. So 2 times 3 times 11.6 divided by 25, and that will give you 2. Point, and how many sig figs should we have? We have 3. Four and two, so that means the final answer should have two sig figs. So the final answer will be 2.8 molar, and that is the molarity of the base. All right, let's take a look at another another example. So the very first step is just to write the reaction out. It's going to be HCl plus NaOH, and then the products will be H2O and NaCl. And this reaction is already balanced. Everything has a coefficient of one. So then we can transfer the the numbers underneath. So this will be 0 0.35 uh, molar. This right here will be 0 0.45 molar because that's the molarity of the base. And then the, mo the volume of the base was 40.00 milliliters. And we're trying to solve for the volume of the acid. So uh, question mark milliliters here. Then we can write the equation. So this is MAVA. And this right here is MBVB. And there has a coefficient of 1, a coefficient of 1. So if we cross it, it'll just still be MAVA, MBVB. Then we just plug in the numbers. So MA is 0.35 molar. V, the volume to acid is what we're trying to solve for. The molarity of the base is 0 0.45 molar. And the volume of the base is 40.00 milliliters. Then we just plug that into the calculator to solve for VA. So 0 0.45 times 40 divided by 0.35. And so the volume of the acid will be 51 milliliters. And that's the answer. That's how much acid is needed to reach the equivalence point. So there you go. That's the shortcut for acid-based titration um, calculations. It's pretty much your MAV, MBVB, but just make sure you cross the coefficient. So the, co the coefficient of the base goes to the acid side, the MAVA, and then the coefficient of the acid cross over to the MBVB. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, 
then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.